Okay, welcome back for the next tutorial about the chords. Today we're going to talk about uh, triads. So as keyboarders, we like the key of C major. So just white keys, that's pretty easy to play. So we got the key of C major and the chord called C major. So that's not the same thing. The chord C major is included in the key of C major, for sure. But it's just the chord. It's not the key of the song. So we're going to talk about all the chords in C major. So let's start with C major. We start at C, we got the third and the fifth. So that's the common way to build a chord. Three notes, try it. So that's C major. If we go up with all the keys, one key higher, we still got white keys and it's D minor. One up, it's E minor, the chord. Then the chord F major. G major. A minor. And B diminished. So these are all chords included in the key of C major. Seven chords are included in every key. So now we can mix the chords, just like that. So we got four chords. So we add just a single note on the left hand. That's the basic note. So for the G major chord, it's C. And then we add A to the A minor chord. F to F major and G to G major. Now we can kind of making a rhythm out of both hands. Then it could sound like this. And this is a very good way to play a song like that in the bands on the piano. We can even play the notes of those chords one by one, one after the other. So we appreciate the chord, then it's like that. And if we do this with both hands, it's kind of a little song of its own. So in all the digital audio workstations like Logic, Cubase, Pro Tools, you find arpeggiators to do this for you. So you just play the chord and they play the notes in a very different way, in a different rhythm or whatever. And even the plugins, a lot of instruments have arpeggiator in there. So then you can play chords like that. So the best way is to learn all those seven chords in C major, really how they work and put them in a different order. If someone's saying play an A minor, you play A minor, so you know all the chords in a song. Alright, so see you in the next tutorial. Hope you had fun. Bye bye.